Welcome everyone to the middle of New York City where we have a new beautiful art installation here. This is the Prismatic right here, the Prismatica here in the Garmin District of New York City. Today we're going to explore two major art installations, this one and then another one in Grand Central Terminal. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm Ariel, this is Urbanist, and let's get on with the show. So welcome everyone to Prismatica. This is a installation of two meter tall prisms on a uh, device where they can spin around. So let's spin all of them, shall we? Look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so there we go. So. So one thing I really love about New York City is that they constantly have been adding art installations all around the entire city. Uh, many locations, many public plazas have art installations. Highline was probably pretty much one of the very first ones that started doing that uh, at least in the past like 15 years or so and it adds a cool little like, you know, fun element to these city streets so it must have a really cool effect at night also at sunset that's right Alexandra hello Gwen hello Peter um, so it must have a really cool effect I'll show you the sign this was made by a um, design group called Raw Raw Design in collaboration with Atomic 3. So this is how I look like when I'm live streaming. Let me show it to you. So right now we are located at 39th Street and Broadway. 39th Street and Broadway in the Garmin District. Right here. It's called Prismatica. Our winter garden comes to life with Prismatica, a kaleidoscope of vibrant colors and sounds and pivoting prisms that are made out of panels laminated with dichroic film that transmits and reflects every color in the visible spectrum, varying positions of the light source and the observer. Wander among the force of dazzling rainbow prisms to enjoy an infinite interplay of lights, sounds, and colorful reflections. So here's a wider view of it. <laughs> Uh, here's a wider view of all the prisms right here. So you push these around and they actually say, spin me, right here. So I'm going to zoom in as I spin this one. I think this one is in bad shape. Okay. <laughs> Do you see the city coming to life a little bit? I do. I do indeed see the city coming to life. I wish there were free energy um, generators too. That would be a, a really cool spin to that. But uh, no, I don't think so. I think they power themselves potentially, maybe. It's like a double exposure. It really is. You can do a double exposure. You could do some interesting things if you were to spin them uh, in a way where you can get a double reflection. Let's see. There we go. We got a double reflection. We can potentially make an infinite no, we can't make a infinite infinity mirror. But there we go. You got two reflections right there. Potentially, if you can line up, you can have, uh, get up to three of them, which is interesting. Hey, Janice says another surprise live video. Yeah, indeed. Let's spin as fast as we can. There we go. There we go. And that takes you to another dimension where what universe will you choose? 
Let me know. <laughs> oh, there is sound. <laughs> Once they start spinning, there is a slight sound to them. Hello, Oleg. It's like mirrors, uh, uh, chancing rooms in malls, says Alexandra. Oh, interesting. You what? Werito says there's a busy street. Uh, Werito, no talk about politics, please. This is a show about tourism. Hello, Slay Bunny. Hello, AWS. Hello, Darren. Hello, Veronica. Jan. Gabrielle, nice to see you here. Mark, you love the prisms. Oh, amazing. The vessel is indeed closed, yes. Cheche Clemente says, uh, this is right in, uh, in front of my building, so pretty hello. Hey. Hey, Cheche Clemente. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, watching. I love the colors. Yeah, me too, indeed. Look at these. See if the sound comes on. They look like giant crystals. They do indeed. Yeah, they do. They do indeed. They do indeed. Is that a prism? It is a prism, yeah. I'm showing you a prism while using Prism Live Studio, the yeah. app. <laughs> so here, Prismatica, two meters tall, gigantic kaleidoscope, raw design Atomic 3. Hey, Ronnie. Welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in, Ronnie. I appreciate you. So we're just enjoying these prisms. We're taking our sweet, sweet time. Enjoy the prisms. Yep, there's some sound. You got to spin them quickly. Hey, Miss Tello, thank you for today's adventure. My pleasure, Miss Tello. Thank you for tuning in. Hello, Ronnie, hello. Alija Sin, nice to see you here. Let's do a I could play these with these all day. Yeah, me too. I didn't even know there was a sound. Yeah, you got to spin them very quickly in order to get any type of sound. Uh, so it's a bit tricky. Orhan, do I broadcast in all conditions? I do, indeed. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure how long are these going to last. I think they're already getting pretty beaten up. It's only been like three days. Look at that. Do they all have different sounds? I think they all have the same exact sound. Yeah. All the same exact sound. Christine, thank you so much for sending 100 stars. I appreciate you. 39th Street and Broadway is beautiful. It is. Look at that. Ronnie, what's the plan today? Just two art installations. We're walking to Grand Central Terminal to see one more, and that's it. That's today's video. I hope you enjoy it. Hey, Rosemary, third time you're watching from London. Welcome. I'm so happy you're tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. All right, who wants one more spin? Let me know. Who wants one more spin before we continue off to Grand Central Terminal? Sounds like a wind chime. Yeah, basically it is. Oh, this, this is cool. You can make a good portrait over here. Oh, look at that. Exactly where that man is sitting? That would make a great portrait.
<laughs> Wendy just got here. Well, <laughs> one more spin for everyone. With the tree branches. I guess you see yourself in the prism, yes. I do see myself in prism. Oh yeah. Take selfies with this prism. There we go. Amazing selfies. Oh, that's actually a cool angle. You can see with this one, you can see the street down pretty well. Is the artist Canadian? Don't know. Don't know for sure. Uh, if anyone could check out where Raw 3, and, I mean, Raw Design and Atomic 3 are located. Don't know. You can also say to friends, meet me at the prism. Yeah, this is not a permanent installation. I'll only be here, I think, for a month. So you won't see this permanently. But here we're at 40th Street and Broadway. And yeah, it's uh, one block long. Have fun. Come here at night. But for now, let's go to our second and last stop. Well, in between our last stop, we're actually going to pass through Bryan Park. So you can see how Bryan Park is. And then we're heading, ultimately, to Grand Central Terminal. Paul, it reminds you of the Hall of Mirrors. Oh, yeah. Miss Tello says, thank you for the adventure. 99 uh, $10 super chat. Thank you so much, Miss Tello. I'm so happy you enjoyed it. So happy to people are tuning in. Let me know, how are you doing on this Friday? Today is a pretty short live stream, but stay tuned tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to have a brunch stream and look at how one of the best pancakes in Manhattan are made. So stay tuned tomorrow at 10.45 a.m. We're going to visit Bubby's in Tribeca, known as one of the best pancakes and brunches in all of Manhattan. So 10.45 a.m. tomorrow at Bubby's. Stay tuned. <laughs> so a live brunch. Uh, we're going to meet the ch chef who is uh, very well known uh, for actually kickstarting uh, early brunch culture in New York City back in the early 2000s. And we will be also at 1 p.m. on a normally scheduled live stream. We'll actually be walking around with Karen Quinones, who is Mrs. Q, in full costume to explore the history of downtown Manhattan. So stay tuned for that. Here's a UFO. I mean, a uh, lobby of the Bank of China. Joe says, pancakes, I'm there. I'm glad, Joe. I'm glad you're there. I gotta do a mask adjustment, so bear with me for a few seconds as I adjust the mask. Mrs. Q is great. She is. She was featuring my Alexander Hamilton videos. Joanne, you went to the exhibit yesterday and took pics. Oh, awesome, Joanne. It's the Bank of China. Has a gigantic UFO in front of its uh, skyscraper. Hey, Alexander, I have a super chat from Reg Life. Oh, Reg Life, thank you so much for the super chat. And Swisser, thank you for the $3 super chat. Ooh, shout out to you, Reg Life in uh, Detroit. And Swisser, thank you. What top building can you go? Oh. Hey, Ann Kit from Kolkata. Welcome. Nice to see you here. From India. 
Is it the same situation as the uh, car on the roof? Well, <laughs> no fake story here today. Um, that is, it just looks like a UFO. That's, that's what I'm making fun of. It's not a real UFO, of course. Uh, that would be big news. Stay tuned, probably in 2025, you'll probably learn about real UFOs somewhere on the news. But here, no, this just looks like one. Swisser, thank you for the $4 super chat. Emojis are okay, don't worry guys, emojis are okay. I know some people uh, don't know English too well, so other languages and emojis are okay in the chat, uh, as long as you're not spamming. That's the only thing. But if, as long as you don't spam me, emojis and other languages are okay. Uh, but don't spam repeated questions. I can't read all the questions, but if you watch long enough, I'll get to you. Don't worry. Just, just uh, go with the flow. You'll enjoy the conversation as we go ahead. Do I have a live schedule? Yes, 1 p.m. every Wednesday and Saturday. Every other day is random. Terry says, how do we know it's not a UFO? That is a great question. <laughs> maybe, it's, maybe it's right in front of our noses and we've never known. At all, Ronald. Nice to see you here. Kenya says, much love and respect. Oh, thank you. Becky says, I've watched you for a couple months, enjoying it. Oh, I'm so glad, Becky. Welcome. This is you here. So there's a lot of cool stuff here. Wendy, no food today, just art. Tomorrow, food, 10.45 a.m. Here's books by Kino, Kuyu, Kino Kunuya. Hard to pronounce. Uh, great Japanese bookstore where you can learn uh, one floor is all in Japanese, the other floors are in English. And they have like manga, and they have anime, and they have a bunch of other things. Hey, Swisser, thank you for the other super chat. Hello, Aseo from Ciudad de Mexico. Bienvenidos. Yo también hablo español, pero preguntarme cualquier cosa. Thank you so much for watching. Oh my god, some hot apple cider. Hello, Cynthia from Boston. Nice to see you here. Cynthia from Boston. Welcome. Is there any kind of COVID restrictions in New York City? Nope, nope, no COVID restrictions. Only mandate is to wear masks. Uh, subways and railroads and buses are enforcing to wear masks under the penalty of a $50 fine. That's the extent of restrictions. How long do the stores stay open? Great question. Usually they close the first week of January. But I'm kind of shocked that they're still open, at least some of them. Ronnie, I subscribed to support you. Oh, Ronnie, thank you so much. Did Ronnie, did you become a member on YouTube or is it on Patreon? Whichever is awesome, let me know. So excited, thank you, Ronnie, I appreciate you. Let me take this chance before we go to Grand Central Terminal. Let me take this chance to thank a few wonderful people take this chance to thank Laureen, Kay, Christine, um, Lynn, Colin, Hisami. The people with stars have donated, have contributed more than $50.
the food emoji. Kay actually covered a full meal, which we were so kind to do so. And the gift emojis are people who actually uh, bought things from the Amazon wish list and uh, gifted us, gifted me uh, books needed for research. So, and also thank you to Jose, David, Isabel, Marshall, Marianne, Linda, Amanda, Suki, Russell, Maureen, Alba, another Christine, Patricia, Lisa, Donna, Susu, Peter, Blakely, and Millard, and Darla. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for contributing on PayPal, Facebook, and Amazon wishlist. Nice blue plate pavement. It's actually rug. This rug must be in very bad shape at this point. Ronnie, my name is Ariel. Welcome. Walk. Luck may, might be a lady. I love that song. Here's the American Radiator Building. Here's the New York Public Library. Here's one Vanderbilt. Here's the Grace Building. Here's the Salesforce Tower. Here's the Bank of America Tower. Here's all the towers, ladies and gentlemen. All the towers. Do you like towers? Let me know if you like towers. I like towers. Melba says, thank you for taking us on the city walks. Oh, it's nice and quiet here. Oh, I like this. I might come back for a nice cocktail. Here's a fireplace. Look at that. Do you have a list of special emojis? Asked Chris. Chris, yeah, the list is uh, it's a recent members post. You'll learn about them. There's six now custom emojis made by amazing artists based in Colombia. I do another mask adjustment, so don't mind me for a few seconds. No, not right now. Thank you so much. Oh, sorry. Not right now. Sorry. All right. Oh, they're on the hunt for a... Interesting. They're on the prowl. The police is... <laughs> huh. Oh, that's fascinating. So this dog is a bomb-smelling dog. And it seems like they're doing a normal patrol. Well, first time, I, first time I've really seen the bomb squad patrol Bryan Park. Oh, that's fascinating. Uh oh. Alright. So let's uh move away from uh, Bryan Park in that case. It seems like they either are doing a normal test or 
Or they got a tip. Let's hope it's not a tip. It's a K9 unit. Yes, it is, uh, Ronald. Uh, K9 units. Uh, this one particularly is not for drugs. It's for uh, bombs. Jordan says, I just heard you say names with great Spanish pronunciation. Indeed, Jordan. Sometimes I have great pronunciación in Español. Some are trained in 50 types of explosives. Yeah, Omar, yeah. Yeah, they are. Hello, Satu. Oh, Mar, thank you so much for a $10 super chat. Beautiful city. Live stream from Ground Zero would be awesome. Watch my previous episode. I've, I've shown Ground Zero for a few times. But maybe I'll pass by again at some point. How did you find out it was bomb related? Um because they wouldn't be searching i think normally for drugs in the middle of brian park uh that's a i'm deducing i'm making an educated guess uh a there probably isn't any major drug deals happening in brian park uh, b they have bulletproof vests and usually the dea or or what i've seen when it comes to police officers searching for drugs are not really that heavily uh protected so my my educated guess is that they're searching for bombs. Unless if there's some huge narco trafficking operation happening in Bright Park, which is probably the worst place to do it. This is way too public. Chris says, I agree, DEA blends in. Yeah, DEA doesn't have, wear too much uh, bulletproof jackets and stuff like that. Not, at least not usually, at least not in the airports, from what I've seen. <laughs> Double R, indeed. If you're a fan of uh, the movie Wolf of Wall Street, then you might know of uh, that Wall Street was... <laughs> an area where there was a lot of drug use illegal drug use but i'm not sure about today omar discuss politics but feel free to ask me anything about travel history culture rob i'm so glad you enjoy the the Is this a museum, DN? This is the New York Public Library. It does not function as a museum, though there are exhibits inside here. Of course, it's closed right now, but there are usually exhibits inside the New York Public Library, yeah. So if it's a landmark, it does have exhibits, but it mostly functions as a library. Actually, let's go down Library Way. I usually always go down 42nd Street. I'll show you the plaques on Library Way. Zoom in. Virginia, tomorrow the live video, yes, yeah, with me. 
<laughs> there's very few live videos where someone else is featured. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, it's, it's with me. I'm, I'm hosting it, yes. Is Lombardi's Pizza open? Yes, Lombardi's Pizza is open as far as I know. So here on 41st Street, there are quotes on the street. You have to look down. You have to look down. Oh, wait, before we look down, look at the plane. Oh my God. That's so cool. Uh, all right, now let's look down. The knowledge of different literatures frees one from the tyranny of the few. Jose Martí. Veronica, send some stars. Thank you so much, Veronica. Here's another one. Because when I read, I don't really read. I pop a beautiful sentence into my mouth and suck it like a fruit drop. Or I sip like a liqueur until the thought dissolves in me like alcohol infusing brain and heart and coursing on through the veins of the root of each blood vessel. Bohomil Habral, too loud a solitude. A great book should leave you with many experiences and slightly exhausted at the end. You live several lives while reading it. William. Stravon. Rob, you're drinking a glass of wine as I read that. Oh, so cool. Nice quotes, yeah. So there's a lot of them. Here's Berkeley College right in front. Oh, I wonder, is Berkeley, this is like a, a outpost of Berkeley College? How cold is it there? About 43 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, this one's by Jorge Luis Borges. All things are words of some strange tongue in thrall to someone, something, who both day and night proceeds in endless gibberish to write the history of the world. In that dark scrawl, Rome is set down, and Carthage, I, you, all, and this my being which escapes me quiet, my anguish life that's cryptic, recondite, and garbled as the tongues of babbles fall. Oh, I love that one. That one's a little bit more poetic. These are amazing, yep. And there's also plaques on the other side, which you can also enjoy. Truth exists, only falsehood has to be invented. Georges Braque, Le jour et la nuit. Do you guys want to read a few more? Let me know. Rosemary, I, have, I don't know off the top of my head what's the UK time. I think it's five hours difference, but double check on Google. You guys want to read more? Let me know. We got a few, we got a few more. Oh, oh, I like this one. Marcus Aurelius Antonius, who wrote the Meditations. He's one of the emperors of Rome, the guy, the, old, the older gentleman in the film Gladiator. Everything is only for a day. Both that which remembers and that which is remembered. Julia Alvarez, those of you lost and yearning to be free, who hear these words, take heart from me. I once was in as many drafts as you, but briefly, essentially, here I am, who touches this poem, 
touches a woman. Julia Alvarez, 33. I love all these. Let's go a little bit further down. There's a bunch of cool ones, but let's uh. I would be drunk here at 3 a.m. reading this face down, says uh, Paul. Yeah, Paul. <laughs> That's funny. But don't just look down on this streets and library way. Also be sure to look up at the gorgeous architecture that is beholden upon us pedestrians as we stroll through these great city streets of New York. Behold the grand architecture of the greatest city on earth. And no, I'm not reading any quotes. That's, that's just me. <laughs> Something happened here. But before something we see what happened, what transpired here in the city street, let's actually read a few more quotes. The bird that would soar above the level plane of tradition and prejudice must have strong wings. Kate Chopin. Oh my god, okay. I think this, we're gonna end on this one. This one, this one's gonna be a good one. John Ruskin, I mentioned him a few times. He is a philosopher who wrote about the philosophy of slow traveling. He is one of the reasons I have accepted Urbanist being a show about travel, but going very, very, very slow, enjoying our sweet, sweet time. So let me read his quote here. For all books are divisible into two classes, the books of the hour and the books of all time. Mark this distinction. It is not one of quality only. It is not merely the bad book that does not last and the good one that does. It is a distinction of species. There are good books for the hour and there are good ones for all time. Bad books for the hour and bad ones for all time. John Ruskin. There's a bunch of other ones to read, but I'll leave you with those. We'll see what's happening here. John Ruskin, look into him. He's an interesting philosopher in his thoughts about travel, slow travel. I love the dramatic readings of Ariel. Oh, I'm glad you do, Alexandra. I think he wrote about Venice. Yes, John Ruskin, he was one of the first like people to really travel, like to be a tourist uh, in the mid 1800s or so. Ninety-six bronze plaques. Whoa, that's a lot. Rona, yeah, sure. Feel free to screenshot anything, as long as you don't print it into a T-shirt and start selling it. <laughs> Otherwise, you can screenshot to your heart's content. Are all these buildings protected? Some of them, not all of them, no. Some of them. Something happened. I'm not sure what. Huh. Uh oh. Oh, they are looking for a bomb. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. 
let's get out of here. The police are serious. The one that has gone underneath the car to see what was down there. Not sure why. Let's go. I'm not sure what's happening, uh, but one police looked very angry and immediately went down to look underneath the car. Something like that happened. So I'd rather not linger. Let's go into the station. Let's finish off. And then head out. I think we can. <laughs> Ronald. <laughs> Not quite Ronald. All right, here. Our final stop Grand Central Terminal. And then I'm taking the train out of here. All right, let's go. Let's see, let's see some cool artwork to finish off. Susu, you're back in Brooklyn. Yeah, I think it might be a good idea. Not sure what's happening in Midtown. Uh, police seemed a bit spooked, so... Let's continue walking through. I wish I could go a little bit more slowly, but I don't have a good feeling about this. So, let's go directly inside the station. Is this the place where the Avengers fought? Yes, yes, this is the main climax of the film Avengers. Uh, the Marvel's Avengers, the first one. Uh, and they have the fight scene all along here. You see like the Hulk like going on the buildings, the aliens going on the buildings all around here. Tony Stark dies around here, or almost dies around here as well. So, slight spoiler. <laughs> and there's like a scene where Thor crashes into the uh, Grand Central Terminal as well. Also, this is the filming location for I Am Legend, right, Rob? Watch out for the zombies. <laughs> Anita, just uh, forget what I said. Just forget what I said. I redact that last statement about the Avengers. <laughs> Sandra, today will be brief, but stay tuned. Thank you. Here it is. Oh, it's not unveiled yet. Ah, oh, here it is. So this is the Da Vinci of debt. This is the newest artwork here in the Grand Central Terminal waiting room. And look at this. So they haven't unveiled it yet. I think they'll unveil it soon. Probably tomorrow. I thought it was already going to be open. I'll come back here then. Hopefully when things are a little bit better. Wow. So these are 2,600 diplomas. Now these 2,600 diplomas are made to look like a huge thing. Ooh, can we go in?
Yes, I would love to, yeah. yeah take sure thing. Yeah, no worries. All good. Cool. I'll talk to you for a second. Yeah, sure. Yeah, go for it. Um, are you experiencing any symptoms? No. Great. Uh, inside, just wear a mask, six feet apart. Um, can I get your name? Ariel. Awesome. And then could I get an email, not for spam, just for COVID safety? Sure, just give me a second. So 2,600 diplomas. Now these diplomas were actually borrowed. They're real diplomas. Uh, Anheuser-Busch is doing a, a relief fund, $1 million per year to relieve student debt. And these diplomas are actually real diplomas that they rented out for $100 each. Now, the reason it's called the Da Vinci of debt is for one very important reason. A few years ago, very recently, there was a massive art sale. And this massive art sale sold a painting for more than $450 million. Salvatore Mundi by Leonardo da Vinci. It was the most expensive painting ever sold in auction. Salvador Mundi was actually believed to be a copy and initially was sold for $60 million more than a decade ago. But then they found out it was real and the value went up. So each of these 2,600 diplomas are estimated to be an average worth of $180,000. Remember, education in America is very expensive. Higher education in America is very expensive. So each diploma, $180,000, 2,600 diplomas. This is more than $450 million worth of diplomas right here in the middle of Grand Central Terminal. That's why it's called the Da Vinci of debt. So, Because I have the gimbal also, but what is that on the side? Oh, this on the side? This is a microphone. Okay, I wasn't yeah. sure that yeah. if it was. Because I have like the lavalier, but La is that like the wireless it, mic? It's a wireless lavalier. Did you get it at Rode? Yeah, it's Rode. Rode Wireless Go. Okay. Really good. It's like 199 somewhere. Yeah, yeah, it's That's amazing. One of my favorites, yeah. All right, let's go right in the middle. No, it's not. No. Wow. 
So you can go here yourself and experience the Da Vinci of debt here in Grand Central Terminal. Look at that. Is that a vortex? Yeah. Student debt is a very serious issue here in the U.S. I won't get into the politics of it at all, but just so you know about the artwork, it's uh, commenting on the massive amounts of debt there is, that this work of art, work of art, uh, is worth the same as the most expensive painting ever made by Leonardo da Vinci. So uh, take that into account when you come here. This, I think, is open for at least throughout January, maybe a little bit less double check uh, it should be open at least for a week but maybe throughout the rest of the month and all you gotta do is um, tell them you know uh, if you had any systems and and they uh, ask for your email and that's it and you're done uh, so I hope you enjoyed it uh, Manhattan uh, doesn't feel so safe right now so I'm gonna head out I'm gonna take photos of this uh, I hope you enjoyed it I'll be back tomorrow at a much quieter neighborhood Tribeca to show you um, the um, best brunch of New York City, one of the best pancakes, Bubbies, at 10.45 a.m. and at 1 p.m. on Saturday, we'll be walking around with Karen Quinones, Mrs. Q. Great uh, tour guide and also a costume designer. So stay, soon, every, uh, stay safe, everyone. Keep being awesome and always keep on exploring. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.